Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and as with all new devices I receive, I'll be giving you a tour of what I have on my Nexus 6P. Now, I've already done my full video review of the 6P, so if you'd like to check that out, there'll be a link down below in the description, as well as a link down below to all the apps that I mentioned here in the video. So without further ado, this is my what's on my Android Nexus 6P edition. Let's go ahead and have a look. So unlocking the device, we can see that I am using the stock Google Now launcher. I've grown to quite enjoy the launcher, even though I can't use custom icon packs. Anyway, I've got two home screens aside from the standard Google Now page, and all the apps will look pretty similar to what I've shown on my other devices, but there will be slight changes here and there. On the first page, I've got my most used apps. I have GTest for organizing and keeping track of homework assignments and video deadlines. I like using GTest because it's super clean with the swipeable tabs and color-coded task lists. It isn't just a notes app that has some task functions built in, but it's an actual task app, which is why I have it. Moving on, I've also got Sync, which is a Reddit client. So I've tried a few other Reddit clients, but I ended up liking Sync the best for its clean UI and swipeable actions. On the left hand side, we have our user oriented options like profile, which seems to never work, which kind of sucks, messages, search user or subreddit, and then the full fledged settings. Now there are a ton of settings inside that area, including an auto night mode, but I don't really mess with any of those. Everything works pretty much the way I want it to, the way that it comes. Under that, we can see all the subreddits we're subscribed to, and overall, Sync just gets the job done for all my mobile Reddit needs. Next up, we have Phoenix, which I've mentioned like a billion times as my Twitter client of choice. It's super smooth with all of its swipe gestures and color customization options. For example, you can change the theme color and main color to closer fit what you'd like. Overall, it's just a really simple yet elegant looking Twitter client. Heading over to the second page, Page, I have my secondary apps. Apps that I use often, but not enough to put them on the front page. These are mainly social apps here, but a few are actually pretty handy. Pocket is what I use to store things like articles for later if I can't read them the minute I find them. It also features a listen mode, so you can just listen to the text. Now it's not quite up to par with something like a dedicated audiobook, but it'll get the job done if you'd like to listen to the articles that you didn't have time to read. Beside that, I have Studio for tracking my YouTube analytics and Snapchat, which you can add me at. Then I have 9gag. Lastly, there's Pocket Casts, which I've mentioned before. Pocket Casts is a really beautiful podcast app. So it features material design and some awesome settings. I especially like the auto download feature to download new episodes of selected podcasts when I am on a Wi Fi connection and the option to be notified of a new podcast episode. It's a great podcast app that I can't recommend enough for those looking for a great podcast app. And of course, the main row of icons at the bottom isn't really anything super exciting, but I do have my dialer, Hangouts, Chrome, and the camera. Now, moving on. On, the app drawer features the rest of my apps, which are basically the stock ones with a few added third party apps. Backdrops is a great wallpaper app that I recently took a quick look at, so if you want to know more about it, hit the link down below in the description or the card up to the top right corner. I also keep Dropbox here for my wallpapers and APKs, and I use Google Fit to keep track of my steps since I do go on nightly walks. It may not be 100% accurate, but it will at least do a decent job of estimating a ballpark number for how many steps I've taken that day. Now Hulu is an app that I've recently installed since I'm checking out the free trial and there are some shows that I enjoy watching on there but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it yet. Anyway though, Monument Valley is an awesome game that I've started playing again just for fun even though I've beaten it already. It's a very interesting puzzle game based on perception and it'll definitely keep you busy for a long time if you enjoy these type of games. The colors, sounds, and perspective puzzle aspect of it all work to make the game an unforgettable classic. It's a game I highly recommend if you haven't already played it, I'm sure you'll love it. Then there's Push Bullet for quickly and easily sending or pushing links and images from one device to another or from your computer to devices and vice versa. It can also mirror your device's notifications to your computer and sync your SMS messages so you can text from your computer, but I use it to push images and links. Say I have an image on my computer I want to send to my phone or vice versa, but I don't want to hassle with a cable or waiting for something to sync. I can just push it and it'll be on my device almost instantly. It's a really handy app that once you get, you kind of don't want to not have anymore. It just makes things super convenient. I also have remote desktop from Google. This will allow me to control my computer when I'm away from it. I've mentioned it before, but I find it particularly useful when I'm not at my computer, but need to check the progress on my YouTube video upload or add in the description or tags, etc. Now it's not an app that everyone's going to need or even find useful, but again, if you need something like this, this is the way to go. It's super useful and it uses your Google credentials so it's super easy to sign in. And finally, I have this game named Loop which I've recently featured on my TGIF series so if you
you'd like to, you can go check that out for more info. That's pretty much it though. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more videos from me. And don't forget to check out the description for all the links to the apps I mentioned, as well as videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.